that. Like that. Every single time, every single time you shove your hand in the saw, you gotta buy a new brake for 69 bucks. What's involved? Uh, blades can often be reused, but we suggest never to reuse a blade without extracting it from the brake and sending it into a sharpener. The blade's worth sharpening and investing in a few new teeth, and it's worth it. If it's not, you just chuck it and it's garbage. So anywhere from 69 to 150 bucks is kind of your skin in the game to avoid it. Um, like come off tool free to reset the arbor the arbor there's a, a steel pin in the spring loaded detente when the blade stops it just overpowers the spring and drops out so I'm gonna drop it down grab it and bring it up again some saws will click you hear that click in the place there the blade guard arriving knife just pops out tool free with this lever all, again, all our saws have a version of that the brake itself is held in place with a, a mechanical pin which is hard to get out because my finger's covered with hot dog juice. <laughs> but the mechanical pin is this. This is part of the redundant safety system. So if I forget for some reason to put this back, the saw won't run. The only tools we need to do this are the uh, these wrenches, righto? So on this saw, the wrenches hang on the back there. On our other saws, they typically hang on a, on a pin on the left side. So they're easy to access. I'm using the blade wrenches kind of like a lever to get that brake out. Sometimes the brake and the blade are jammed together and there's some some racking in there and occasionally it's easier to get off than others. And it just it just is. You know, so you gotta put some muscle on there and then there it is, it pops out. So I'm gonna show you here a juxtaposition of a fresh brake and this activated one. You see this, the hourglass shape, the D, and all the circles are all deformed. There's so much force that goes into that aluminum crumple zones. Our inventor, our president of our company, has got a PhD in physics, and he designed all these, all these things here to optimize the absorption of that force oh, yeah, wow. to, against the question, does it do anything negative to the saw? The saw is designed around the safety thing. So I do break $69 from Acme. Just pops into place there, and I'm going to put this retention key back into place. So does that ruin the blade? Some blades can be pulled off and sent to a sharpener. Some blades, are after that, they're not worth sharpening. They have too much damage. A really bad blade, the disc will deform and it's gone. A great quality blade has a lot of carbide and you can reuse it. Um, so that's kind of like a, a definite maybe. What, what sets a saw off, that's a great question. What sets off the saw is conductivity, right? So anything that's really conductive, like uh, metal or anything with metal or water in it, will set it off. And the only learning.